everybody. My name is Benjamin Bloom and I have just witnessed, much to my surprise, West Brom 1, Ipswich Town 1. I didn't expect any points here today. The um, farewell party has started um, and it started quite well with a decent performance uh, by Ipswich. Um, and a surprise point, like I said, West Brom really um, not up to much today and certainly don't look much of a playoff team on that evidence. Here is how the game played out. Uh, West Brom, a sort of kind of flat 4-4-2 here. Johnston in goal. Uh, Townsend left back. Adarabio centre back. Bartley centre back and then Dawson right back. So I'm not quite sure why Adarabio wasn't right back and Dawson centre back. No Higgs. Garzi, and I think he was a bit of a miss, certainly, um, in terms of the calmness and someone taking a leadership role at the back there. And that makes it even more surprising why Dawson was out to one side. Uh, Phillips down the right, Livermore and Johansson in the middle. Murphy down the left, Rodriguez and Gale up front. So the lesser spotted kind of 4-4-2 from West Brom. Ipswich, Bielkowski in goal, Bree. Chambers, Knudsen plays centre-back today, Pennington not well, Kenlock at left-back, Skews back in the team in front of the back four, Nolan and Bishop slightly ahead of him, Edwards on the right, Judge on the left, when I say Judge on the left that basically means when you reset for an opposition goal kick he's on the left and then he just goes where he wants basically and Quainer up front. Um, Game starts, uh, and because it's the 2018-19 season, and this season everything possibly bad that can happen to Ipswich happens to Ipswich, um, we get this ridiculous um, mistake mixed with bad luck goal right at the very beginning. Um, Ken Lock, it's a poor header inside by him. It sells Nudson short, gales onto it. Um, Worst place Kenlock could have headed it, basically. Um, Knudsen takes him down, surprised he didn't get booked. West Brom have a free kick right on the edge of the box, and it's just unlucky, it really is. Johansson steps up, hits it. Um, it's going to Bialkowski's right-hand side. He moves, takes a huge deflection, literally completely angles the opposite direction, and then obviously it trickles completely into the side netting on the other side, and West Brom have the lead. They've done absolutely nothing. Ipswich mistake and a pretty lucky deflection, and West Brom lead there after about four minutes, and I'm fearing the worst here. You know, West Brom have lost their last couple of games, and you think, oh, you know, bottom of the league, Ipswich, at home, they're probably going to want to get some momentum now, get some form going with a good heavy win here, but no, that did not happen. Um, great drive through on five by Bishop. Feeds Quain, a left side of the box. Weak effort by Quain, who's trying to curl it round Johnston Gellis easily. Uh, Quain lays off on six for Edwards. Shot blocked and out for a corner. Corner comes in from Judge. Ends up with Quainer again. Lays it off to Chambers. 15 yards out on the left foot. Horrible finish by Chambers. Way over the top there. Um, I've put here on six minutes. West Brom winning, but... <laughs> Ipswich have been in charge of the of the whole six minute game so far, creating a couple of chances and having most of the possession on twelve. Judge, nice feet into the ten position here. He hits it low, right footed. We know Judge likes a shot when he gets in good position. Kenlock out wide in a maybe better position than uh, Judge there. Uh, Seventeen skews takes down Phillips there. Another free kick. Uh, Gale shoots this one, goes wide, right footed on twenty. West Brom goal kick flicked on. By Townsend to uh, Jacob Murphy, and he, oh, Chambers is too tight. Uh, Murphy rolls him, he turns, and it's one of those where the centre backs don't go across and cover. So Murphy just runs and runs and runs. He goes into the box, opens up his body, hits it with the right foot. The Thierry Henry shot into the corner. Only Thierry Henry probably would have scored. Um, but Bielkowski makes a good save down to his left, I think. Bart gets his angles right here and, you know, leaves a little hole there and he knows where Murphy's going to go and makes the save there. Um, 25, Bree into Judge on the right now. Uh, feeds Edwards inside on his left foot, puts that one over. Uh, 28, Bishop, another 
excellent drive. It's a defensive corner here. It's uh, punched out and Bishop's off to the left. He flicks it over his man and just accelerates away. He goes and goes and goes again. Um, way up the pitch, hits it right footed, deflects over um, Bishop. Definitely that string to his bow, driving him through the midfield there. Judge whips the corner in. Chambers is arriving at the back post. I don't want everything I said about Chambers to be bad, but he should score this. It goes all the way over and he kind of bobbles it scuffy wide. He was free. Oh, good chance on 28 there. 31 Big chance now. West Brom too deep in centre midfield. They're standing way off. Edwards feeds Nolan. Great chip over by Nolan. Quain has made a clever run. Diagonal, unfortunately, he has to spin the wrong way back on himself. But he still gets a good shot off in the box. Low right foot. It's a good save by Johnston with his feet. Sometimes uh, we see them... Uh, they go through the keeper's legs. You know, you've all seen that happen. And Ipswich playing well here and just not managing to get through and get the goal. Uh, 35 now. Good chance for West Brom, though, coming back inside from Murphy. Rodriguez, unselfish, slides it across to Gale. Left-footed on the angle, coming in from the left-hand side of the box and hits it into the side netting. And if you notice... Um, West Brom's chances come few and far between. Now, I guess this has been the story of Ipswich's season, though. Um, there'll be games where Ipswich go on top, but then concede a better chance than, than they've created. And I suppose, if I'm being totally fair to West Brom, the Murphy and Gale chances are up there with the Quainer and Chambers chances. But other than a deflected free kick, this game is very, very even. Um, 41, good save again by Bialkowski. Uh, Johansson chips it in, chested off by Gail Murphy. Low um, volley and Bart down to his left here. Pushed that one away. Corner swung into the near post and Bialkowski saves again. I don't want to tempt fate, but he looked somewhat back to his best today. Um, Bialkowski in goal for Ipswich. In fact, let's go for a hot take. I think that's the best I've seen him play this season. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me on that. 43, Knudsen plays into the channel. Quainer into the into a judge, uh, judge into the corner, left-hand side of the box. We know he, he's going to score one of these soon. Um, uh, curling right footer, but it's easy for Johnston to save there. 45, Town win a dangerous free kick centrally. I think it was Bishop again. Uh, 25 yards out. Might have been Nolan, actually. I don't remember. Um, Judge takes it right foot. It deflects over the corner. Goes in to the edge of the area. Skews follows it up. Hits the shot. Big hand ball shout there. Dawson diving in there to make the block. And both Chambers and Skews right in the referee's ear. Hand ball shout not given. So we get to half time. And you can see without any amount of support or bias, that Ipswich are playing well in this game. Um, two good chances for Chambers from the um, set plays. That good chance for Quainer created general territory, general play. They're doing well. They're actually outnumbering West Brom in the central midfield. It's, this was like a mistake that Paul Hurst would have made earlier in the season when he was Ipswich manager. Um, tucking in and just overwhelming them in those positions, which means that... Um, Livermore and um, Johansson just kind of dropping back a little bit more. West Brom did have fret down the sides. And, um, I mean, I guess this is just their quality. When they do have chances, they are good chances. They engineer them well. But really, um, and I'll, I'll come on to this at the end, for the standard of player in that team, that wasn't a great first half for West Brom, despite the fact they go in 1-0 up, deflected early free kick. That's the story of Ipswich's season. Uh, Jackson in for Quayna on half time. I don't know whether this is just... Lambert mentioned this in the press conferences. Now, as the season is running down and, you know, relegation's pretty much inevitable now, um, you might see things like this happen where a lone player gets 45 and then a permanent player gets the second 45 so I don't know whether that's the case but it would make sense if it was uh 46 Edwards yellow um for a tug there Gale takes the free kick just wide and my goodness me of all things my giddy on an Ipswich Town goal 48 minutes here and They've come forward again. They're getting men forward. Judge gets into the box. Um, he tries to drive it across and it's blocked out. Comes out to James Bree, who's 
in a good position. He's up the pitch um, where a good attacking fullback should be. And he crosses it and it's a brilliant cross. Now the forward players have gone in near and Nolan is arriving at the back post. Up he goes. It's a long way out. He climbs up, headers it to Johnston's right into the corner. Wow. I don't believe it. Ipswich have scored at West Brom. Goodness me. It's a good goal as well. It's a good cross by Bree. And um, don't turn me off. It's Matt Holland-esque arriving from Nolan in the midfield position. Um, that's a bit of a party piece of his. If you look at the goals he scored for Ipswich this season, arriving on that one for uh, Birmingham. That was a Jackson cross. Sweeps that one in. Again against Derby from Quainer's pass. Arriving first time. And now, so he's got a bit of form for doing this Nolan and I think on the basis of the whole 48 minutes of the game Ipswich don't deserve to be losing so really really pleased to see that and I think there's 1300 Ipswich fans behind the goal look I'm supposed to be neutral here I'm getting really really biased but I was really really pleased for that one to fly in from Nolan and it's 1-1 one, one, uh, 54 great throw out by Johnston Rodriguez good touch chips it into Gale he's 1v1 with Chambers moves it to the left but shoots over. Um, Dawson and Adarabio at some point have now switched back. So just a really busted experiment by Darren Moore on that one. Um, Kenlock plays the channel here on 61. Nodded in by Jackson. Good um, forward play by him. Judge comes in, dipping volley 30 yards. Um, maybe if he'd been 34 yards out, that one's just going to dip over Johnston, but just a bit too much. On it, Leko comes in for Phillips as Darren Moore makes his first change. Uh, corner from the left-hand side. Second ball bounces down. Poke goal was for West Brom. I think it was Gale and Bialkowski pause that one away. I think um, he sort of flips a hand at it and pours it out. So well played again by the big pole. In the goal, um, good chance on 65. Ipswich, Nolan and Knudsen. They get Kenlock right up the pitch. He slides in. Jackson in behind. Oh, dear. He Charges into the box, um, goes for the near post, and he gets blocked out. Oh, I can understand a striker doing this. He's kind of on the left-hand side. Um, I'm actually getting confused because Jackson, in these next moments, is going to get in three times. Um, I don't know who was arriving. I had my eyes on Jackson, but he's just blocked out there. But good composure by Kenlock. When when you get Kenlock up the pitch, he looks a bit more comfortable when he's further back towards his goal. Uh, Murphy, yellow on Edwards. Bit of chitter-chatter um, on the pitch then. Pushy, shovey, WWE stuff there. Uh, Morrison comes in for Johansson. That might be a return for Morrison. I don't know. West Brom fans smarting me up in the comments. Dawkins, the lesser spotted Simon Dawkins, in for Bishop. Um, Bishop sort of does 60, 70 minutes and... Um, yeah, well, we talk about Bishop at the end. Um, Judge now goes central, Dawkins uh, to the left. Rodriguez, high, wide and handsome on 72. West Brom not creating a lot. Uh, 75 corner cleared out to Lecco on the right, in low to Livermore, but he skies that one. Over the top, 76 chance for Ipswich. Nolan is slid through. He's away, away from the goal and it's a bit tired as he goes through and drags his shot wide with the right foot here oh dear and this is the period now two chances for Caden Jackson he gets in twice here um first time Kenlock is pressing again and Jackson's through the middle and he can't finish and then he's put in literally in kind of the same phase of play the same sort of minute or so um right hand side of the box and it's all the way across he's a big danger with his movement and his pace Jackson I just think um a run at his level, which might be League One, and he could be lethal there. It'd be nice to see him score one of these type goals where he's put in behind and finishes it off because that's what we saw for um, Accrington last season. Uh, corner for Town on 81, cleared to Dawkins. Oh, he snatches it, that one. Um, doesn't come down and puts it over. Um, a bit of weirdness here because... Uh, Brunt's about to come on and then Adarabio sits down on the floor. So Brunt looks a bit pissed off. He goes and sits back down again. And Field, who I saw play central midfield, has to go in at centre-back. Um, so it's a real patched-up 
West Brom defence for the last few minutes. <laughs> Fields' first action is to completely wipe out Caden Jackson and get a yellow card in about 30 seconds. On 87, poor touch by Nolan Rodriguez. On to Lecco. Loads and loads of touches. Dribble, 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 dribble. And then he smashes it over. Four minutes goes up. Four minutes goes by. Ipswich don't concede their customary 89th, 90th, 91st, 92nd, 93rd or 94th minute goal that we are quite used to at this point. Um... And Ipswich have a point away at fifth place, West Brom. Look, let's talk about West Brom first before we talk about Ipswich. Um, that's just not good enough for that squad of players. I'm I'm behind managers getting given a chance, you know, that it's not all just, you know, the same old people getting the same old jobs in the championship. But I just think Darren Moore, he's got half a team of Premier League players and... 40 million quid of parachute this year and presumably the 35 next year if they don't if they don't get up um it wasn't a good performance at all by West Brom I'm not sure they've tried the 4-4-2 before so maybe there were some teething problems there they missed Higazi at the back I don't get Adarabio playing central back and Dawson playing right back switch switch them over for goodness sakes um Phillips a bit isolated, Murphy a bit isolated, and just the whole thing didn't really knit together. With four four two, you want um, partnerships. You want your full back and your winger either side, your centre midfielders. Loads of groups of two are working together, and just didn't really happen for West Brom. And it's a difficult one because I thought they were good earlier in the season when Barnes was there and they were playing three five two. Then four three three with Barnes seemed to work and they seemed to be a bit tighter. And it it seems like the X factor here is no Harvey Barnes and it's not really working so well for West Brom. I know they've lost two hard games against Sheffield United and uh, Leeds the past two games, but come on, you want bottom of the table at home to come back from this. And, um, you know, they've dropped points again today. So if you're a West Brom fan, um, let me know what the expectation is. Surely um, it's going to be playoffs now with the other three at the top all winning this weekend and do you fancy Darren Moore against Tony Pulis in the in the playoffs if they drop to sixth do you fancy him against Chris Wilder or even worse Marcelo Bielsa we assume Norwich will get one of the top two places now so um I don't know West Brom whether West Brom are going to make it but um that's Try not to be too harsh. That's just based on um, what I've seen for most of the season. It seems to be a lot of star power winning games without there being any real coherent um, team sort of pattern that I do see from Sheffield United and I do see from Norwich as well. Um, in terms of Ipswich, this is a good performance today. Um, we've complained so many times, oh, the first goal goes in, 10 minutes later the second goal goes in. Didn't happen today. Um, the first goal, I'm not being a baby about it, it was really unlucky. Um, mistake, okay, from Kenlock and the free kick is deflected. And then Ipswich pick themselves up, they create chances, uh, three of them. They did concede a couple of chances in the first half, but Bielkowski did his job, played, uh, played well. It wasn't the Alamo and Bielkowski making 25 saves and then again in the second half um Ipswich I don't think it's unfair to say we're with a better side in the second half I don't really remember West Brom creating anything that wasn't from a set play in fact I think I'm right in saying that uh, the one that Piakowski calls away was from a corner otherwise just nothing doing for West Brom and Ipswich continually coming away and feeding Jackson in behind really pleased for Nolan to get the goal so loads of positives again today let's hope um Ipswich can string two games together, which they obviously haven't been able to do now for, you know, over a year. Um, but we know they can do it. You know, they've drawn drawn against Derby, who have been a playoff team. They've drawn against uh, Villa. There's There's been some performances that, you know, haven't been as abject as, as many of the ones that have put them bottom of the league. And this was obviously one of them and quite a surprising away point. And, oh, my God, that streak is over. That awful streak of like 16 games or what it, whatever it is of Ipswich conceding two goals in away games. That's over as well now. So thank God I can go on whoscored.com and won't see that blooming irritating thing in my face. So look, good performance. Good start of the farewell tour. Um, nice to see Nyden back on the bench. Nice to see Emmanuel back on the bench. Um, and yeah, if the rest of the season's like that, um, I think we'll... we'll 
we'll have a good time as we see out our days in the championship. Let me know what you think in the comments as ever. If you agree, disagree, keep it civil. We know what YouTube can be like. Follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom. Hit the subscribe button too. I'm going to be at Birmingham Villa tomorrow for that big game, my third of the weekend. So check out loads of content well worth subscribing. Hit the thumbs up if you don't want to do that. Um, just good to get that interaction. Thank you for watching. Over and out. Goodbye.